All right, man, so this is a first ever video. Hopefully, many more to come, man. We're doing a little day in the life with Jaime Jaquez, man. He's a D1 athlete over here at UCLA. We are near campus right now. We're about to go to his crib. Um, he's about to just show us around, show us what he does. Uh, you know, day in the life of a D1 athlete, what they eat, how classes, practice, all that good stuff, man. I'm gonna let him do the explaining and let him do the talking. We're pretty much here to just document anything, man. So before, <clears throat> before we continue with the video, man, go smash that like button. Comment down below if you go to UCLA right now, man. Four's up, you already know what it is. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So I'm actually super excited for this uh, kind of series slash episode because I feel like it's so intriguing being a D1 athlete, especially in today's society with the NILs, bro. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of dudes that went to college in the past before the NIL had to try to make it to the league or, you know what I'm saying, like they were struggling with money or whatever it is. But now, bro, if you're a popping student athlete, man, like you could, I'm sure, make a living. Like you don't got to go to work. You don't have to worry about funds. You don't got to worry about money. Now you can just focus on school. You can live your life. Like UCLA is a beautiful campus. The area is amazing. Westwood. So interesting to see how uh, Jaime's life is. Uh, what he does the day to day. What's up, man? What's good, bro? How you doing? Living that life up here. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey. Yeah. This is it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean it up real nice. Let's go. You guys getting the full experience today, all right? UCLA, men's basketball. So what do you eat? Like, what do you, what's your breakfast like? Um, man, so I guess to start off, I get there at our gym probably like, uh, let's see, like 8.30, 8.30 in the morning. That's when I arrive, get my breakfast. Um, wait, no, I'm tripping. I get there way earlier. I get there like 7.30. 7.30? Uh, get there around, get there around eight. Eat my breakfast, and I go into the training room. Get all my treatment on my ankles, my legs. Just make sure I'm prepared. Get ready for practice. Um, we have a lot of options at our facility. We get acai bowls, smoothies, Damn. peanut butter and jelly, bagels, anything you want. We we kind of got, and then get fuel, get hydrated. Then we go to weight room, get our get our lift in, and then right after that we head down to practice usually about two and a half hours to three. Um, usually we'll either maybe watch film on whoever we're playing that week or uh, watch film on us to see what we have to do to get better. And then after that, get some more shots up and then I'm off to class. And then after class, maybe go back to the gym, get some more shots up and come back, see what homework I have to do. And then back in bed, wake up and repeat. That's kind of the day. So do you provide like nutrition pretty much like whatever you want? Like like breakfast, lunch, dinner, or yeah. So um, usually after practice, we have a either catering or we have our nutritionist Daniela who will go out and um, order food for us. Oh, okay, sweet. And yeah, she does a great job. Gets us gets us right. Damn. So yeah. you never cook, huh? Oh, I see. No cooking stain on this the stove right here, man. Yeah. No, I, I'm a cooker. I don't know. I got. Oh really? Things. Yeah, I got some frozen chicken in here. I can make some pasta with. I'm a big pasta guy. Uh, we got my we got my chicken chicken okay. strips right here. And then we got all my seasoning in here. All right, all right, all right. So I, I be cooking. I mean, Russ, I don't know. You be helping sometimes. I got my pot in here. So I be chefing it up. All right. That's why I, I don't know. <laughs> Had to ask, man. A lot of people don't cook, you know. Yeah, I cook your stuff. I'll take I'll take my three meals. <laughs> here we go. This is my room. Dang, you're living, bro. MTV what? crib. Welcome to my crib. Welcome, welcome. Wow, this is, this is very exclusive content right here. I got my, I, I've decided to get rid of comforters and sheets because I don't like doing all that when making my bed. I just got one blanket and that's it. Very nice color. Cool. Yeah. Got the big big ASAP fan. Big ASAP fan. I got Kobe over there in the corner, my favorite player ever. And then that picture right there up top is, uh, I took that picture actually. That's the part across my street. It's for an art class. We had to do photography. Took that picture, framed it, got an A. So I'm okay. pretty proud of that. Taking it with me. Taking it with me. And um, yeah, so I guess. How old is this, bro? Is this turn on? Yeah, this is mine. This is my. This is my. Uh, I got this at Target actually. That's not that old. It's just Crossley. We got record player. Place some oh. records in there. Cool. 
<laughs> it's Bluetooth, we got a cassette, CDs, it's got the whole package radio, so I think this is one of my very special purchases that I have, something very special that I really enjoy. And then we got That's my tight. pictures right here, these are, there's my boy, that's me, that's one of my old roommates, that's my little brother right there. And then, as you can see, that's us going to the final four. That's tight. Look at that, you get the full, full experience. All my guys right there. That how was it, how was it like to enter the, to win the Elite Eight to go to the final four? It's a crazy feeling, man. Really crazy feeling, all the confetti coming down. Yeah. It was uh, something I can't forget, man. Take it with me, but we got another year. Trying to trying to run it back, so be on the lookout. UCLA championship. Yeah, yeah. March Madness. March Madness. Is that is that is that time crazy? That whole month? Because you just if you keep winning, you just traveling, traveling, traveling. Yeah, you kind of you gotta go like two weeks uh, or not two weeks. You go a week and you're kind of in that play two games mm -hmm. and stay. Oh, Shai, you guys want to see the bathroom too? Then we got our master bathroom over here. Right here. This is a pretty big spot for college. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. We do well over here at UCLA. I saw all the recruits trying to come. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we want to rush. You want to show them your room? Yeah, sure. So now we're going to the other side of the place. Big oh, old sneakers. Rush stomp. I see yeah. sneakers. Well, this is oh, my bathroom. We can closet. check the bathroom out real quick. You know, just a little something. Got my own. You know, too bad, too bad. Set it up. No, they live in good. You got your own bathroom. In college, you usually got to share bathrooms. Yeah. You all know this. With like two or three guys. That's what we had last time. We had three guys, one bathroom. One bath. That's just college, though. Yeah. If you've been in college, you guys know. So this is my crib. You know, big upgrade, as Jaime was saying. You know, we didn't have any air conditioning before. My room was much smaller. Um, but yeah, I like to show my sneakers like that. I don't know, bring some color and some pop and uniqueness to my room, so I like that. And I always always need a big bed, you know, big guy, I like to spread out, roll around. Um, but yeah, so I also study a lot, focus on the academics. So I got my setup over here. I got a nice little monitor, um, two computers. Ooh, nice. My setup, yeah, I, I had a midterm this morning, so I was studying all morning. And uh, one of my favorite, uh, attributes to my room is it's all Alexa like uh, controlled so I can turn off the lights turn on the lights so if I say Alexa turn off the lamp okay. oh she don't want to listen to me, <laughs> she don't listen to me. but hold on try to listen try to me. Again. Alexa turn off the lamp okay all right there See? we go there we and go. then I also got this so if I say Alexa turn on the lights Oh, Alexa's Ooh. selling you. Alexa's right selling you right now. She, she's a little camera shy, I think. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I got the, I got the LEDs around the room. Um, yeah, so Alexa, turn on the lamp. See, she listens now. But yeah, I also got my scooter right here. So Everyone has one station. now, bro. Yeah, no, especially around Westwood, you know. We gotta get around. I don't have a scooter. Everyone has a scooter, bro. But yeah, I got the PlayStation here. Okay. Ride my ride my scooter to class. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Got my nice little closet space. I, I didn't have a closet in my old in my old crib either. So it's nice to have a little closet. Nah, you guys are living good, bro. This this is an excelled college life, all right? Yeah, that's what sure. when you've been around the block. Yeah. You kinda, no, we're the old guys now. We're the old guys now. So we're living we with all the perks. This is nice. You got to be engineer major then. You got all this tech. What's I, your major? Yeah, I'm actually a double major in mechanical engineering and business economics. We knew it, bro. So Alexa, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I gotta, <laughs> gotta get the setup. Advanced. Yeah. So that's sweet. But yeah, it's a good, nice, quiet spot. You know, I'm with, with my best friend. So get get our own little area we can also mingle we have guys over all the time so yeah it's tight yeah no it's a vibe for sure try to make our make our spot the hot the spot the you know, spot all, all the guys over. always come over we always hanging out here playing playing mario kart super smash bros oh you guys play that oh, oh yeah on the semi yeah, 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 yeah the i don't know if you guys want to see me in that though I don't know why. really yeah i don't know if you want to see me are you that. actually nice yes <laughs> You gotta win. You gotta win. 
capitalize. Oh, and he capitalizes. Uh, <laughs> I'll be cut off the back. Hey, you were working though. You're I tried my best. Been working. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? We play Rob. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of guys, when well, they don't have a lot, and they're really trying to fight for their, you know, livelihood and trying to set up, yeah, uh, set up to be financially stable. Like this is a great opportunity for them exactly. to have a just a baseline. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might not make the NBA money, but at least you're getting something to be able to help and to get a start and to be able to understand and learn like how to manage your money. Yeah. And that's just the way I look at it. Facts. This is a really, it's early learning for guys who are going to take that next step into the NBA. Dude, because some of those guys just make crazy money off of it, bro. You don't know yeah, what to do I know. With it. Like, they don't know what to do, but now it's like you know, being able to be put into a position to be able to help families and yeah, start a start building your financial profile it's cool because you entered it right last year entered what the draft like you did the workouts nah i did i had i had to get surgery on my ankle oh so, oh i remember you what game was that was it the like well so i had a lot of my ankles were they were pretty banged up yeah i twisted my my right ankle like three times throughout that season um uh -huh. And so I was always kind of just like recovering and always trying to get it better. But my left ankle was the one I had surgery on. That's the one that was bothering me because I had bone spurs that were growing and they were messing up my ligaments. And it was just causing pain like every time I would run and jump. And so when the season ended, uh, basically we just had to get them removed to make it pain stop and go away. Yeah. So I'm doing a lot better now, yeah. um, healthy. So most important thing, Coach Connor always said, the best availability, the, no, the best ability is it's availability. Is availability. Yeah. That's that's what it is. The best ability is availability. This is Polly right here, yeah, if you couldn't tell. Let's go. Let's go. And that's actually pretty tight, I ain't gonna lie. There I am right there, <laughs> teasing away. You don't do uh, fraternities, huh? Nah, I'm not a big fraternity guy. I know a bunch of guys in fraternities. Yeah. But uh, I like to say I'm just honorary members of all of them. Honorary members. I'm cool with everybody. Affiliate. Yeah, but as you can tell. I feel like I go to UCLA now. Yeah. It's a lot of walking. Yeah, this is no, this is a lot of walking. That's why everyone has scooters. But it's like, how are you going to get up? That's why everyone got big old calves over here, man. Shit. Yeah. Look at this. UCLA, <laughs> University of Lakes, Calves, and Asses. That's what they say. University of what? Lakes, Lakes. Calves, and Asses. Just because oh. of all the Lakes, Calves, and all the walking and all the hills. I'm not still that. Oh, we gotta go to class though. It's enjoyable. When you go, you feel good. You feel like you learn. You get to interact with other students other than yeah. other than the basketball or athletes. Basketball. You can make new friends. Yeah, my, I have was one class on Monday. Three hours, but it's actually. Oh my fun. god! Yeah, no it's like way. fun though. Yeah, we talk, discuss. I had a, I actually presented and like helped teach the class for the day. Is it a one once a week class? Yeah, once okay, a week. I was about to say three hours. Oh, that's, that's, had a that presentation. I was asking questions. We were playing a game. I was a teacher for the day. So, what is it? What class is that? It's um history of. It's a really long title. It's 147A. That's just all I know about. But it's about like Greek. You know Herodotus? No. One hour later. Just got out of lecture hall. That made me not miss college. Not gonna lie. We learned a lot. We learned, learned a so lot. much. <laughs> so much. Chapter one. I actually did learn a little bit, but 
The Tower of History. I'm not Check it out. I'm not retaining. Shout out Professor Tail Ruiz. Man, She's man. the type of professor to make you like you can't sleep in that class, bro. She if you sleep in that class, she catches you, you're you you got to answer a question. Yeah, you're dying for it. But shout out to the people that were uh involved the whole time, bro. I have some people that wanted to ask you some questions. Oh wow. My favorite part. This is crazy. Alright. Christian Garcia. How does it feel to represent the Mexican community when you play? That's crazy. We were just talking about that. Um, you know, I think it's very important for a guy like me to be able to acknowledge my Mexican heritage and to be able to spread that knowledge to people around the country. And so just to like, and really be an inspiration to the little kids looking up to me. Yeah. And looking up to just basketball players in general to know that, you know, they come from everywhere. You know, you don't have to be, you know, come from, you, you can really just come from wherever and, and really make it. I think that's something really cool and special that I'm able to provide. Did you ever play for the national team? I did. Okay. I played, uh, I played one summer. We went to Lima, Peru. Great experience. It was, uh, tremendous it, it, it's really crazy to see how far basketball how far basketball has come and how global the game really is now there isn't a lot of Mexican who we were talking about that off camera but mm -hmm. is it really only Juan right now um Juan myself I know Isa at Stanford you mm. represent him um, Isa Silva yeah got yeah, my boy Diego Willis He's playing down in Mexico right now, though. Okay. He's on the college team, though. He's hooping, man. Yeah. Keep going. Keep All going. Right. What's your favorite thing about being a D1 athlete? There's a lot of things, man. I don't think I can narrow it down to one, but... Give me three. We'll I like... Three. A Division one athlete, I think... Um, number one that's up there is the the love and support that you get from going to a school and so UCLA for example everywhere I go I just get shown so much love just for you know being a basketball player and people you know admiring my work and I think that's something really special and I think what's also cool the gear can't <laughs> it's also a big part of being an athlete. all the Jordan they take care they take good care of us I think lastly is just Damn. to play in front of, you know, millions of people on TV yeah. and, and packed out stadiums. Um, people that really care um, for, for their college sports teams. You get nervous hooping? Like, what's the biggest crowd you've been in? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. I think you said when we played Villanova here at home last year, that was packed out. Everyone was wearing white, screaming. Um, that's right, got to be up there. Was that when um, Villanova was ranked mm -hmm. higher? Was it? No, or they were two, and or we were two, and they were four. Mm. Top five matchup, crazy well, game, super fun. How many people was? How many people can uh, Poly Pavilion have? I think like twelve thousand. Damn, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I don't, I, don't quote me on that. You, could, you guys could look it up. I'm sure. You get nervous on that? Like, 12, that's a lot. Holy shit. I'd be nervous. <laughs> yeah, you get nervous at the start. But then you start playing, and you realize everything else just goes in one ear, out the other. It's just white noise. Like. What about in away games, though? Yeah, away games are... Away games are fun too, man. Like when everyone's cheering against you, that's sometimes just as fun as when they're all cheering for you. Mm. It's just a different di different vibe. What was the craziest away game? Mm. I think it has to be Oregon. Oregon? Yeah, we ended up losing that game. But I just remember we were standing there coming out of timeout. It was just... I think we were tired or something. Mm. And the DJ, he plays this one song. It's like, jump, and you gotta jump. 
And then the whole crowd singing it, jumping up and down. Damn. Even the players are singing. I was like, oh my god. That's crazy. This has got to be one of the coolest like games I've ever played in my life. Fortunately, we lost, but it's still very memorable. In Eugene? In Eugene, correct. Yeah. I would not know how that feels. I play in like live tournaments. Mm -hmm. There's like live viewers, but I can't imagine the crowd. Like, yeah. I think the most live viewers I did one time was like 10 or 12,000. So I can't imagine playing like actual like an arena with 12,000 people, bro. I'd honestly shit in my pants if I said, if I heard 12,000 people going against me. You getting nervous, Nate? 12,000 people? Hell yeah. Yelling against you? <laughs> that would be nerve-wracking. I was nervous. We had our game yesterday as a scrimmage exhibition, and I was still nervous. Yeah. It wasn't even as a senior. It's like just never goes. I think that's something that will never go away. Okay. Like, I'm just so excited to play. Like, starting the season back up, I don't think that ever goes away. If you wasn't playing basketball right now, what would you be doing? I'd be playing baseball. What? Uh, that was my that was my second sport. I played I played baseball all through high school. What was position? A, I was a pitcher. What? Yeah. I was solid. I was solid. I didn't, so I didn't take random. it as I didn't take it as serious as uh, I did basketball, mm -hmm. but I still enjoyed it. That's actually crazy. I would never like think of him because usually. I think there's only one baseball player that did it, Pat Connaughton. Mm -hmm. I think he was the only, but I don't know if he was a pitcher. I think he was a pitcher. He threw oh, gas. was he? Yeah. Pat Connaughton might be the only Dude. baseball basketball player I know. Threw gas and he jumped out the gym. Interesting. He's still in the league, right? Yeah, I think he plays for the Bucks still. Oh yeah. But I'm saying, like, as far as like baseball, basketball, like, I think that might be the only person I know that does that. I can't look like a baseball player. I can see it. Do that. So you, you, you uh, who, who's your team? Dodgers. Dodgers. Okay. Obviously, I didn't make it this year, but yeah. I'm still pulling for my boys in blue. So who are you rooting for, Phillies or Astros? Got to be Phillies. Phillies okay. has to be. We hate the Astros here, man. Mm -hmm. Hate the Astros, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see. What's it like competing at the highest level? Highest. What is what's it like competing at the highest college level? Um, I think it's special. It's something that I don't take for granted at all. Um, going through injury, I know how quickly the game can be taken away. So I just try to have a lot of gratitude and appreciation every single time and every day I go out and play. So I just try to be try to be thankful and grateful that I'm here, healthy, and being able to play the game I love at such a high level. What was that quote you said? Uh, best, the best ability is availability. The, no, the best ability is, is availability. Is availability. And that's honestly a fact. Mm -hmm. Take care of your bodies. So you're doing treatments every day? So like maintain it? Uh, yeah, treatments every day. I mean, I try to eat healthier. Panda, I mean, I don't know. Is it healthy, <laughs> is it not? That's up for debate. It's good. Um, yeah, but treatment every day. I was there this morning early, getting dry needles, and mm. yeah, I like acupuncture stuff. You guys have like Kairos and masseuse, like all that for you here? Yeah, we have an athletic trainer. Um, his name's Tyler. Shout out to Tyler Lesher. He does a great job providing. He's got his own platform. Follow him on Instagram. He's a he's a big help to all of us, and. Uh, He's been he's been tremendous to me. Got me healthy. Helped me get through my year last year. And, nice. Uh, so we, we really appreciate what he does. We excited for you this season, bro. Mm -hmm. I want you to go crazy. All right, let's see one more. Oh, okay. So we talked about this off camera. This is a good question. What was it like when Jalen Suggs hit that buzzer beater? I'm sure that was like the craziest. Yeah. I mean, everyone was watching that game. Like that was a crazy game. I feel like I can never escape this question. One day I'm gonna have. We're gonna have to play again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, everyone asks you this. Huh? Everyone asks you. Oh this? yeah, hundred yeah. uh, percent. But it's okay. It just comes with it. Uh, yeah. What was I thinking? I mean, honestly, in my head, I was looking. And I'm like, oh, this is long. Like it's not going in. Like we're going into OT. And then I see the ball go up, hit the backboard, 
hit the rim and then go in. I was like, oh my God, this cannot be real. And it was just a shock. It's something, it's like, it's hard to believe like what you just witnessed. Yeah. It took a second to process and I just walked back to the locker room, hugged my teammates and were like, just proud of how far we have been, knowing that everybody got this out. Yeah. And uh, just being able to accomplish something like that with those guys, because I mean, that team was a special team. We had a special connection. Yeah. And uh, just really happy I was able to do it with those guys. Where were you on the court? What was that? Where were you on the court exactly? I was literally right under the basket. Damn. A little to the right or something. I was literally, I had a perfect view. That would have been sick, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, That's my gosh. Right. Did you watch that game? Uh, I think I did, but I don't, I don't really remember it too Dude, much. Dude, that game was a crazy, like, even when I was watching, I was like, what in the hell? It was just so back and forth. Yeah, it was back and forth the, the whole, whole game. game. The whole game was just going at it. And they were number one, so it was just like, boom, 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 just straight action. And then, I mean, I guess you can't complain as a fan if you're watching it. Yeah. Like, that's what we'd want, but I'm sure as a player, it's just Well, like, I just, damn. I think... What leading up to it was so crazy because we were down by five, right? With like, I want to say a minute left to play, or something like that. I remember John, or I remember Tiger hit me in the corner. Or we had to get two back baskets up quick, like yeah. five points and under. Like it's tough to do. Hits me in the corner. I hit the three. We're only down two. Go back on the other end, get a stop. Johnny goes down, shoots a layup, misses, gets his rebound, puts it back up, and then right back comes back down shoots the three i'm like wow because in college is 30 seconds now shot clock uh-huh okay 30 seconds it used to be 35 or something wasn't it longer or something i think 35 high school oh 35 but see 30 seconds is like long in a minute versus 24 right mm -hmm. so that's pretty good i'm sorry to ask you bro it's okay i actually <laughs> wanted to know too because i was watching it and I've known you, and then I knew Johnny. I was like, dude, yeah. they must just be like, fuck, bro. We can't be mad because you guys. Yeah. Fuck, bitter, it's like bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yeah. Bittersweet. That's what I call it. All right. Well, yeah, that's all the questions I got. Nate, you got any questions, or you just want to eat your food? I got a question. So, when you make it to the league, what's one person like that you're excited to like match up against? LeBron. I feel like that's everyone's answer, but that's mine too. <laughs> Gotta be LeBron. That's tight. I bet you that's just surreal. Yeah. I've only seen him once. I saw him at the premiere of Hustle. That was the only time I've ever seen him in person. He's that guy, big as shit, he's huh? Huge. Yeah, he's fucking huge, bro. Yeah. You really don't realize how big and mean players are until you like see them. It's just yeah. like being in the presence of greatness. Yeah. All right, man, it's gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate everyone for watching. Big shout out to Jaime, thank you for everything, bro. Appreciate y'all coming uh, out, man. Hey, man, go check them out. If you're in the area, go check out a game. You know what I'm saying? They're right this year. They're trying to go all the way. Go show some support and uh, go show them some love, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you cool. guys.